And God, you do not speak for me, Mr. Jones. You do not speak for me. The sparrow has my voice, busying between hedgerows. English is a cloudy day. More English than you, anyway. That old man and his dog out at dawn beachcombing, letting the morning tickle his mouth up at the edges. His gait carries my weight as he lightens his day. The wildflowers on verges reaching for something they can never quite touch, but stretching all the same, smudging their glories all over the mundane. Those Saturday kids smiling through braces, serving ice creams on days when hot doesn't cut it, learning that patience is waiting for saints and grandmas to choose between sprinkles or flake. The policeman, the plumber, the teacher, road sweeper, Pram pushing mums, gleaming proud dads. Sunday fun runners replenishing their sweat with a pint of English vest after winning their bet. That lifesaver doctor, last hour of her shift, who hasn't slept since God only knows when. As kind as kissing betters to the latest in a long line of confused old ladies who all ask the same thing. But where were you born, dear? And oh, what lovely smile, what lovely skin. As she holds their hands, asks them where it hurts. This is my England. Its voice is not scabrous, it's soft. Its fingers reach down to pick up the fallen, brushing them down to hold them aloft. Your tone is shrill, a study in antipathy. You are not my England. And you do not speak from me. Yeah, yeah. yeah.